for specific success criteria, again, skilled work, going to get you up to about a D grade, really, using correct form, language, audience, purpose, some persuasive words, accurate sentences, accurate sentence structures. Okay, lots of you weren't doing that, I'll repeat. You've got to be able to do that. If, you're, if you can't do that, go read a lot of stuff and look at the sentences. Um, yeah, or speak to me about it. Okay, excellence. More ambitious and appropriate, and in this case it's persuasive words. So when I say appropriate words, words which fit your purpose. If it's descriptive writing, descriptive words. If it's persuasive writing, words which help you persuade, or, or, or techniques which help you persuade, such as using the rule of three, uh, using statistics, using an anecdote, all that sort of stuff. Variety of sentence structures, clear sections, paragraphs start and end well. Okay, so similar really to the mark scheme for the previous question. Right, here's a model answer, adapted from something we got in the exam. Right, why don't you start doing karate? It's a great sport, it keeps you fit, it's good for your health and it means you can do really good self-defence. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Is that sick? Lots of exclamation marks. We don't need all those exclamation marks, I'll tell you that now. Karate is the best sport in the world. Okay, you should do karate because it's easy to do. Is karate a sport? It's a martial art, isn't it? Is that a sport? I don't know. Let me know if you, if you know that. You should do karate because it's easy to do and very beneficial. Karate is good because it's great fun and you can do it with your friends. 80% of people like doing karate, apparently, according to this person. I'm trying to get a statistic in there. Another three. Um, I sound like I'm taking the mic out of this person. I'm not really. I've kind of adapted it. It's not one person who's written that. I've taken bits from lots of different uh, things. So I'm not being horrible to anyone by saying this, but it's quite funny. Um, so, yeah, they've tried to stick in a statistic and not very convincingly. Right, stop now. Pause your thing. Have a look at it. Better if you're watching it on big screen, I suppose, on full screen. Why is that? What do you think about that answer? What are the strengths and weaknesses? Two strengths, three weaknesses. Please pause now and do that. Okay, so from my perspective as a teacher or as an examiner, I would say a couple of things. First of all, look, it's this sentence thing's going wrong again, isn't it? Right? Again, we've got, why don't you start doing karate, comma, I mean, that should be a full stop. No, sorry, question mark, question mark, shouldn't it? Um, end the sentence, then start again with a new sentence. It's a great sport, comma, it keeps you fit, comma, it's good for your health, and it means you can do really good self-defense. Way too many exclamation marks, but way too many commas. You've got like four sentences there, probably. So control the length of your sentences. Such an important target. Because straight away your examiner's thinking, mm, this is going to be deal below, because of that, that fact. Um, words, then. You've got great, good, good, best, easy, good, great. Very similar vocabulary, isn't it? They're not being very ambitious with the vocabulary that they're using. You've got to try and choose better words, basically. Okay, so uh, it's a fantastic sport. Could be better as a as a as a variety. Um, you know, you you could do that. So choose better vocabulary. Um, what else? Try to use some techniques with the with the statistic. The fact at the bottom, it's fine to make up statistics. That's not very convincing though, is it? I don't think 80% of people do like doing karate. Uh, so try and make it kind of convincing. Um, and again, I don't get any sense of having planned. They're just kind of splurging out some thoughts straight out of their head onto the page without having thought about the order they're going to write about them. You know, if you're going to write about karate, you have three reasons why you should do karate. Paragraph one, about reason number one. Paragraph two, about reason number two. So organise your ideas before you start. Okay, so that, that student, or that kind of semi-imaginary student, can be successful in this paper. So if you're doing these sort of things, you can be successful, you've just got to learn to do it. Okay? Um, right, next then, model answer is a bit better. Pause it, please. Tell me why it's better. So three bullet points, put it on Word or something. Why is this better answer? Go. Right, BMXing is a great sport and great fun. So they use great as well, isn't it? Why are you ever using great so much? Uh, easy to start, even easier to carry on with. That's quite nice, isn't it? That's a nice sort of control of sentence structure. Just flows well. Okay, let me tell you more. Dot, 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 ellipsis. Really good. 
Funnily enough, one of the best things about BMXing is the adrenaline rush you get from racing along in constant danger of being horribly injured. You may be thinking that sounds a little odd. Perhaps you're right. But if you give it a go, you'll see that it gets the heart pumping like crazy and you feel great at the end of a long ride. Provided you survived. Perhaps you're not convinced yet? Redone. Secondly, another advantage to BMXing is... Now, why is that better? Loads of reasons why that's better. Sentences are controlled. A variety of sentences. So you've got an ellipsis sentence introduced in the first paragraph. Let me tell you more dot dot dot. You've got a long sentence to start off with. One of the best things about BMXing is... You've then got short sentences. You may be thinking that sounds a bit large. Perhaps you're right. Really nicely controlled sentences. Again, this person's learned how to use sentence structure. And if you need to do that, watch and learn the videos on Charwell Online. They're on the GCSE English revision bit, not in the self-assessment bit. So it might be in a different playlist to where you found this. Um, I like this bit here. Perhaps you're not convinced yet? Question mark. Read on. That's one of the sentence structures in that video that I keep going on about. Question sentence followed by short sentence. And also that nice sense of talking to your reader. It's quite informal, isn't it? Which is good because we're doing this for a school magazine. We're not trying to be really formal. Um, and there's a bit of humour in there, provided you survived. Like a bit of kind of irony, a joke. Um, so that's good. Oh, and all of this paragraph is about the same thing. It's about the danger element of... of um, BMXing. So they, they've, they've got de developed ideas. They're not just writing about one thing, then another thing, then another thing, then another thing, then another thing. If you try and do that, you run out of ideas. The trick is, identify three ideas and write a lot about each one. So that's pretty good. Right, tips for this then. Again, plan with flaps. Spend 35 minutes on this question. Same as before. Get accurate, then be varied and complex and sophisticated. Start and end well. Don't tell the truth. I suppose so. No one's going to hold you to account and say, come after you and say, well, you told me to do BMXing and I fell off. You know, it doesn't matter. Just tell the, make it up. Facts are not important. Um, so, once again, and emotionally, we're coming to the end of this series of films. I feel like George Lucas at the end of uh, Star Wars Episode 3. Um, do some work now, please. Choose one of these five, five um, questions that you've got here, all from past papers. Um, age for up 36 minutes. You can do all of these. No reason why you can't do all of these. Um, if you're in my class, get them to me and I'll uh, have a look at them and give you some feedback on them. But now is the time for you to take responsibility, to recognise that whatever, whatever you're working at at the moment, you can all improve, um, you can all be successful. Um, so yeah, have a crack at one of these and give it to me. Again, I don't know what to say now. What should I say? Uh, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye bye.